Hopefully, during your transition, you learned a bit about your education benefits, and this will only be a refresher of sorts. There are a couple of things to emphasize. The first is the need to follow up, follow up, and follow up. Getting your benefits activated can take a bit of time, so you want to make sure you stay on top of the process. You will want to submit your application early and even complete the paperwork for your GI Bill benefits while on active duty. Then you just need to follow up with your DD-214 after completion of service. We are only going to summarize briefly the different types of education benefit programs, but don't stress if you feel you have further questions. There's a lot of information out there, and we will give you access to resources where you can gather further information. Different veteran education programs have different benefits. You need to know what program you will use or are eligible to use and what benefits that program provides. Benefits help with tuition and fees, living costs, often from the Monthly Housing Allowance, or MHA, provided with specific veteran program education benefits, books, and sometimes help with tutoring costs. Your Montgomery, post 9-11, and forever GI Bill benefit determination can take up to six weeks. Plan ahead prior to the start of the semester you are enrolling in. An important first step is to request a Certificate of Eligibility, or COE, from the VA. You need to bring it to your school certifying official. Check out the link below this video to apply for benefits. What happens after you apply? You'll get a Certificate of Eligibility, COE, or award letter in the mail if your application is approved. Bring this to the VA certifying official at your college or university. Many colleges and universities will let you register for classes without the COE, but a hold might be placed on your account. Most colleges and universities want to know how a student will pay for their tuition before finalizing classes and enrollment. So be sure to check with the school veteran certifying official that you have taken care of all of the required steps at your school. Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment, or VRND, and commonly known as Voc Rehab, or Chapter 31. It's a bit different. The process can take up to six months. You will also be required to do some job research, go over the colleges or universities you want to attend or are attending, and do a skills assessment. In addition, you will need to meet with a voc rehab counselor in order to be approved to register for classes. An important part of voc rehab is to realize it is a program intended to provide education that leads to a job or a vocation. This is a bit different than the other veteran education benefit programs. Not all education choices will be approved if the vocational rehabilitation counselor does not see evidence that the education choice your major, leads to employment. Be sure to meet with a voc rehab counselor before enrolling in a specific education program. A critical consideration for all education benefit programs is your actual enrollment. An important thing to remember is that credits can affect your benefits. For example, 12 credits is considered full-time, 9 for three-quarter time, and seven for just above half time. With all of these enrollment choices, you will still receive a monthly housing allowance, or MHA, but the monthly payment will be reduced if you are not full time. Anything six credits and fewer is considered half time or below half time, and you're not eligible for MHA. While comparing your GI Bill benefits in each state, consider how in state versus out-of-state schools may affect tuition costs. If you plan to attend a state college, are you an in-state or out-of-state student? Some states offer generous aid to veterans and allow them to apply for residency fairly easily. States like Illinois, Texas, and Massachusetts offer great benefits to veterans, so make sure to research state aid to veterans. You should also determine if your preferred school participates in the Yellow Ribbon Program, as that can also offset some of the costs. As mentioned earlier, the Yellow Ribbon Program allows colleges and universities to voluntarily enter into an agreement 
with the VA to fund tuition expenses that exceed either the annual maximum cap for private institutions or the resident tuition and fees for a public institution. The institution can contribute up to 50% of those expenses and the VA will match the same amount as the institution. Most have a certain number of yellow ribbon slots, so you will want to check with your preferred institution. As we've discussed earlier, don't be hesitant about starting at a less expensive college or university or community college before transferring to your preferred four-year college. Many of them have articulation agreements that will make transferring easier and you will have saved some money in the process. Once you understand the types of benefits available to you and have done your research, it is the time to apply for your benefits if you haven't already. The place you want to go is the VA's eBenefits website. There, you can go through the process of signing up and be on your way to getting access to the funds you deserve. Finally, there are two additional veteran education benefit issues you need to understand. While your Chapter 33 post-9-11 education benefits are typically described as months of eligibility, the length of time for eligibility is actually measured in days. It is possible you could have a semester of full benefits eligibility with only one day left in your total allotment. Check with the veteran certifying official to know your eligibility. You can always request a COE, the Certificate of Eligibility, to get updated information on your eligibility. MHA. Again, this is monthly housing allowance you are most likely more familiar with BAH, Basic Allowance for Housing. When you have left the military and are a student veteran, certain benefit programs can provide assistance with housing. When you are a student, it is called MHA, Monthly Housing Allowance. 